What's up, guys and gals? It's Mark, and uh, it is time to play some Uncharted: The Nathan Drake Collection. Now, I am a I'm a really big fan of the Uncharted games. Two being my most favorite, three being my least favorite. Um, but I am I'm definitely excited to dive back into these games. Now, this release is supposed to be there's supposed to be some improvements. Um, so some of the tech and visual upgrades, they are they're aiming for 1080p 60 frames. Now, I have a, a pre-release version, obviously, of the game, and there have been just maybe one or two instances where things kind of stuttered around. But um, other than that, it's been silky smooth. Um, there is supposed to be a day one patch that comes out that is supposed to fix um, all that. So an optimiz optimization patch is coming. They also are aiming to remove like screen tearing from Drake's Fortune, the third one. Um, and they've also increased some of the texture res resolution and geometry detail. But I have to tell you, I got this I got this yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to play a ton of it. I've only played the first Uncharted. But you can definitely tell that some of the geometry is... I mean, it is, it is obvious that this is a first-gen PS3 game. Um, so it, it, it definitely looks old, but not in a bad way. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um... And we'll start with uh, we'll start with the first one. Now the nice thing is when you set um, when you come in here and you configure all your stuff, it spreads out uh, through all three games. So you don't have to start and configure each game. Once you do it, you're set. Now the environmental lighting has also been improved in this game, and you can definitely tell things. It, it looks really good, but in some instances, you can see the load times are great, but in some insta instances, you can definitely tell that um, it it looks a little washed out sometimes because I don't the game, I don't think, was, you know, built with that stuff in mind. So let's head over here. Nate, I've got a bad feeling about this place. Yeah, I know. Me too. Oh, do let's you? Let's just find Sullivan and get the hell out of here. Why would you have a bad feeling about this place after we just got shot at by 30 guys? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's go cut these guys off down here. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Guys, I'm dead. You don't have to throw a grenade at me. Let's switch over. Oh, man, I'm low on ammo. Alright, that's fine. You know what we'll do? We're going to go up here. I'm playing on normal, I'm not playing on hard. Yes, I will take your pistol. Thank you very much. God, oh, he's going for that headshot. All right, let's grab some ammo. Ooh, shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, feels that shotgun feels really good. Okay, Elena, you still scared? You probably should be. I don't know what I'm doing. She has a gun. She's not firing it very much. 
All right, let's take a peek and see if we can pick up some ammo and maybe hidden treasure. No. Yes. How we doing here for weapons? I don't really like the shotgun too much. The M4 is great, but I don't have a lot of ammo for that. So let's stick with the shotgun and then maybe there's nothing there. Okay, let's get out of here. Oops, this way. We're running, we're running. I like to murder people. I like to run, I like to run and kill. Ah, oh, there's more M4. Ugh, what do I do? M4? Oh, pff. Good shot. Come on. Good. Let's go down here and get this M4 ammo. Good. Reload. Okay. Excelente. Yeah. We got this, Drake. We got it. Now, I remember when I first started playing this game back, when it first came out. Um, was that 2008? I think that was 2000... Was that 2008? I really should know this. And I remember initially being disappointed that the game didn't have as many tombs as, like, Tomb Raider. Um, but it turned out all right. There were enough in there. Um, There's definitely more shooting. But I remember when this game first came out, you know, everybody, including me, was saying, oh, they're just trying to, you know, steal Tomb Raider's crown and being disappointed that they did not, they didn't include as much Tomb Raiding or, you know, Raiders of the Lark, Raiders, Raiders of the Ark type stuff. Guess we're falling down. Yeah. Let's get that. Do the skin. I totally meant to do that because I need to get that ammo. Guys, that was on purpose. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Jump! Jump! <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Down here. No. Goodies? Goodies? What is that noise? What the hell? Alright, well, let's go this way. Treasure. No treasure. No treasure. What is going on here? Where's the treasure? You promised me treasure, Nathan. Aha! Ah. Okay, hold on. Before we open that up, let's go over here real quick. There's still no treasure. Nate. This is disappointing. Okay, well, let's open this up. Where's Elena? She should be helping me with this. Nope. Aha! Thank God somebody piled up all those explosive barrels. Job. Thanks. Now please come help me. That is driving me nuts. Is it supposed to be a bird? I'll hold that while you brace the gate open. Thank you. <sighs> you ready? Okay, let it go. Gently! Ah, I said gently! Th 
There's a lot of guns here. Oh yes, sniper. I remember this. <laughs> Mid jump. Okay. Good shot. That's fine. That's fine. Mm. Oh boy. Yep. Oh good. Love the sniper rifle. No, I see. Come here. Another sniper. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Man, it's weird. I've I've not played this in so long, but little little okay. bits of it are bringing up bringing back memories, fond memories of playing through this. But man, it's been a long time. It's weird how playing this it de it definitely feels like an older game. I don't know. I don't quite know yet why it feels that way. It's funny because. I mean, it definitely looks better, the textures... I mean, the memories I have of this game essentially applied all... automatically applied all the updated visuals and made it 1080p, 60 frames. You know, that's nostalgia for you. But you can see sometimes in, in the geometry that it's it's definitely an older game. But it, we got treasure! We found a massive chalice. If that means anything. Probably not. Okay. We'll go this way. Oop, is there a bro? Do you see a bro? Look out. Okay. For what? Look out for what? Oh, here they come. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Yes. Oh, shoot. Wait, wait, wait. This guy has... Okay, let's use the grenade rifle. Oh, it's a shotgun. Grab the wrong one. Mm. Let's go back to the sniper rifle. That's gonna be super helpful. That must be the library. Over there. Oh, well, we're not gonna waltz right in the front door. Let's find another way in. Scope things out. Well, first let's go over here and see if we can find any goodies. Because we all like goodies. I like goodies. In fact, that's what... Nathan Drake. That's why he's doing this. For goodies. It's the goodie collection. Boop. Hmm. So, is the trophy list not out yet? Oh, grenade. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Grenade. Hmm. I'll have to look and see if the uh, if the trophy list is embargoed. If it's not, um, I will I'll post it for you. Okay, we're heading this way. Only two shots left. Man. Oop! Another goodie. was just there for the the treasures the hidden little goodies okay I think it's time to go to the library guys time to go check out some books wait Grenade, yes. come on Elena let's go up here God, this game, it just kind of forces you to check all the nooks and crannies to get those treasures. And those treasures do pretty much nothing. I mean, they don't even really expand on the lore in the game because there is no descriptor. I mean, there's a name for each piece. 
She worked in this little bar in the Philippines. Oh, man. She had a smile that would melt your heart. Bro, I swear to God, she just as soon kill you as kiss you if she caught you stepping out. Just a wee bit of a thing. She couldn't have been much more than 4 or 11. They called it a spinner because she... Will you shut this... up, old man? You told us that one a dozen times already. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> of course I did. Memory is not what it used to be. What the hell's taking you so long anyway? Hmm. Well, maybe you hadn't noticed, but most of these books are half rotten. And written in Spanish. Yeah, we'll hurry it up. The boss is waiting on you. Hey! Up there! <laughs> Hey, I will point and shout before I shoot. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, go, 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 run. Headshot, headshot. God. Yes. This better be worth it. Oh, how's that feel? Is that Sully firing? I don't remember. I don't remember this part. Oh, let's take this out, old-fashioned way. Nice. <laughs> uh, his little quips are so great. I mean, they're so Indiana Jones, but with a little more sass, right? Um. Okay, I guess we're going down. Drop, 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 drop. Or not. Good. Oh, feels good. I mean, not killing somebody feels good, but you know. Well, you're looking awfully good for a corpse. So you brought the girl after all, huh? The girl? Hey, if it wasn't for her, you wouldn't be getting rescued right now. If this is a rescue. What the hell does that mean? You gotta admit, Sully, this all looks a little shady. Yeah. I mean, you tipping those guys off. And miraculously showing up alive. Now wait a goddamn minute, Roman had a contract out on me. I needed to buy some time. All right, stupid mistake. I didn't realize they'd try and track us. Sully, we would have been headed home with the treasure by now if you had just for once kept your mouth shut. And you might have, they have a point, Sully. for a pulse before running off and leaving me for dead. Look, none of that matters now. All right, so how is it you're standing here breathing and all, huh? <laughs> you are not going to believe this. Huh? <laughs> no way! <laughs> Old Francis took a bullet for you! Yeah. I thought this kind of thing only happened in the movies. Yeah, well, it still hurt like a son of a bitch, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I bet. Anyway, once they realized I wasn't dead, I convinced Roman that they would never find the treasure without me. So I've been trying to mislead him ever since, waiting for you to show up. Well, where are they now? Well, they're chasing a little red herring I sent him on on the other side of the monastery to get rid of him. <laughs> Look, Drake had it all figured out. See, that's the symbol the Spanish use to mark their secret vaults. The treasure is hidden right here in this monastery. Find the symbol, and we, we find, find the vault. vault. We have everything we need right here. All the clues to take us right to the treasure. We can do this, kid. <laughs> all right, you boys aren't gonna get all chummy and leave the girl behind again, are you? <laughs> Don't even think about it, Sully. She's got a mean right hook. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> There's I'm... more to this room than meets the eye. I'm sure of it. Hmm. Something about these statues. Hmm. Maybe we should look on our book. Now, one of the one of the new options for the collection is you can come in and under display, you can change motion blur to objects and camera, or just objects, or just turn off completely. The default is object, but let's change it to object and camera and see if we notice any differences. It's probably pretty subtle. All right, let's see here. All right. So, Luke is south for Satan. John is east. 
Mark. That's me. Is west. And Matthew is north. Alright, so... Let's come back here. I don't... Man, I totally don't remember this puzzle, which is great! So... North is Matt, right? And then east, we have John. And John is the eagle. Yeah. Try checking the diary again. <laughs> Same thing there. North, east, south. And oh! Hmm, okay. Matthew, John, Luke, Mark. Okay, so let's go up here. Okay. Ah, yes. Oh, okay. That's not right. You're right, it's not. But, it looks like... Come on, hurry it up, Nate. We don't have much time before they realize something's uh, wrong. Okay, just relax there, buddy. Okay, I think I get it. Let's go over here. So, so John. East is facing left. So all right. So, north. Matthew is facing forward. That's right. This is this has to be Luke, right? So Luke is facing to the right, which I th think is correct. And see the lion guy, which is Mark. Mark is facing to the left. Damn it! I think that's what I did. Right? Why is this not right? So. Luke South is facing to the right. Okay, so let's go like this.
Okay. I don't know why this this puzzle's giving me trouble. But, I think we've seen enough of Uncharted 1, so let's move on to Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 is the one I'm really looking forward to. All right, so let's see let's see how this looks. Bum 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 bum. Okay. New game. Campaign. Normal. Don't try to talk me into playing on hard. It's not happening. Gosh. I think I originally played it on hard, too. But... I did not tell half of what I saw, for I know I would not be believed Marco Polo on his deathbed. Good. What a difference from the first Uncharted. That's wow. my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Nathan, we got this. We got this. We're just gonna shimmy. Just a little bit over here. Yep, we're okay. Loop around. And follow the yellow bars. Follow the yellow bars and you'll be fine, buddy. Remember in school, that's what they taught us. Yellow bars. I don't, I don't see the yellow bar. Oh, there we go. Settle down. Yellow bars. Remember. God, this is such, such a good opening. I remember they used this in the reveal at E3, and then the uh, the collapsing building. Two really is the best one, right? I mean, there's, there's no argument. Ah, uh, oh, that's close. I mean, three was good. It just wasn't as good, right? Like I think, pretty much everybody kind of okay, Mark. I think that's pretty much the consensus. What is going on? Dude. Yeah, jump and grab. <laughs> Back. 
back outside. Um, all right, that's hey. There's a yellow bar over here. We're fine. God, my palms are sweating, and I've already played this. Run, 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 run! Jump! We did it! Looks really good. It's remarkable how much better it looks than the first one. The first remaster. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. I am listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Listen. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. <laughs> From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Man, it looks, yeah, way, that's why it looks so good at 1080p 60. Wow. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. So what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. I don't know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. 
So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> These games are great because there's just nothing out there really like them. I mean, Tomb Raider, you know, they're <clears throat> cut from the same cloth, but it doesn't quite have the, the charm and humor as the Uncharted series. By the way, don't forget to um, follow me on Twitch, guys. Um, I'm going to be streaming other games, too. Uh, Pre-release games like Fallout 4, Assassin's Creed. So give me a follow so you can get a notification when I go live with those demos. Now, this game remasters quite nicely, I must say. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go walk underneath the large thing that's falling. Tiptoe around the wires. Squeeze through. Watch out for the oil. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go over here. Let's get the weapon first. And get the goodie. Yeah. So they changed that up from the first one. Oh, ammo. Good. Camera's in a little tighter on the second one. After just coming up the first one. Okay. Yep, gotta shoot it. Get it. It's locked. Yep. It's always locked. Yeah, the controls have been spread across all three games so that they're exactly the same. Fortunately, <laughs> for fortunately, the first one has also been reworked a little bit, so it does feel better. The shooting feels better. Oh, sure, let's climb this. Alright. The only thing I remember about this part of the game is there's a ton of guys up here with guns, and then there's... I think there's an avalanche? So I don't think the I don't think the intro to any of these games are really going to contain any spoilers. Uh, well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face. Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh. You're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. 
So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flint. Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I and just then? disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Already then. Got back here. Nope. I don't think that's where we want to go. Oh, but there's a bar. Yellow bar. Drake, he has messed up. Man. Sure you're up for this. Feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? <laughs> better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay. This one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Oh, 
sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? All right, the sneaky, stealthy part of the game. I actually thought they did a pretty good job with this. I like it when when games do stealthy segments, but they don't overly complicate the stealthy parts of it. Kind of like, um, I don't know if you played the DLC for um, the Songbird DLC in um, Bioshock Infinite. Oh, the the stuff stuff it's there was right. great because it, it was just it just had essentially two hey, gameplay mechanics. What do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? Yeah. From there, we're in. Yeah, <laughs> in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn? I don't get it. Just give me a boost. That's right. The visual cues definitely you got to pay attention to that stuff. I mean, it's it's kind of a signature of the Uncharted series. Um, I mean, I think I think the only game that doesn't do the quick timer events, the only one that does it more is probably God of War, right? We're good. Okay. So, uh, this looks good. It's looking really good. Why don't we check out Uncharted 3? Let's see how that looks. So the game also, there's also a photo mode included in all three of the games. You just press down on the D-pad and it allows you to sort of swing around all men dream. Uh, Nathan and but Dolly up and down and apply filters and do stuff Those like who that. Dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men. For they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Good, wow. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. 
One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's uh, see the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver, 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate. Let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Man, this is crazy. So, if this was a, a PS4 game coming out, not just like PS3 remastered, I mean, it would look really good. I mean, I don't think you would need a qualifier that it's a remaster. Come on. It's pretty impressive. Man. Just gets me super excited for Uncharted 4. Jeez. Hey there, green fella. I got him! Alright, quick, hit him! Now, bad idea, Grandpa. Damn it! <laughs> It's like Batman combat, but just not quite as good. I don't I don't remember this. I wonder if this actually inspired the original Arkham Asylum. Because it's, it's so similar. Out of the way, Sully. Oh, no. Gross. 
That is nasty. Come on. That is. Just give me a second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Not in the toilet! No! You hurt? Just my pride. Can we flush the toilet? They're gonna need a no, plunger. Not gonna let me. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Here. You get out the back. Stop him! I've got the old geezer! Oh. How's that work? Throw him! Yes. Ugh. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Uh oh. Oops. Oh, crap. Yeah, crap. Uh, damn it. Come here, come here. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. He's had enough. Haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Oh my. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this. Don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlowe. We have to get you out of here. Ah, oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? This part's pretty great because showing Nathan as a kid really, really does kind of give you some insight into what he was like because we just didn't really know much of anything. He talked about the past a lot, but but actually putting it in the gameplay and being able to see like some of the stuff he did sort of explains a lot. So it's pretty clever, especially now that we know he's a relative of Francis Drake. I just remember All right. the first time Here we go. playing through this this particular section and just being amazed at all the little touches graphically. It's amazing. It's 
So I'm bringing that book up by touching, touching the, um, using the touchpad. The lighting is is striking. It looks really, really Not here. Good. Maybe upstairs. Cases. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. So that's how he got the ring in the first one. Oh, crap. Mm -mm. Callejera, suélteme. Clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Quédate afuera. Pendejo. Well, it looks it looks really good to me. Um, I am looking forward to playing through all three of these games. Um, it's time to cut it short here a little bit. I wanted to play through a little more, but um, I have some stuff I have to take care of. But thanks for hanging out with me, guys. This is fun. I hope you follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. Um, again, I'm going to be playing some other uh, advanced games pretty soon. Uh, Assassin's Creed Fallout 4, for sure. And that's going to be a lot of fun. So um, thanks for hanging out with me. And um, I will be playing probably some more tomorrow. Okay, see you guys then.